someone parted a little too hard in Thailand. In my last vlog, I talked a lot about my trip to Vietnam, but I didn't really do a great job explaining why I was here, what I was doing. I'm actually part of a program called Remote Year, and what I'm gonna be doing for the next four and a half months is traveling all over Southeast Asia, working remotely. The last few days I spent with my good friend Amanda, who I've known since high school. Amanda was in Thailand, and when she found out I was coming to Vietnam, she booked a ticket almost immediately. We relaxed the last few days. We've also had a lot of fun, but good clean fun, you know? Like, fun that our grandparents could watch. Drop it. And then from there, we went to Hoi An, which is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a fisherman's village preserved in time, and it's like nowhere I've ever seen. Coming at you from Hoi and Vietnam. We are in the hotel room. Amanda is here. She made it. I'm still getting used to this thing, so bear with me as I figure it out. But we're getting ready for the day. Let me just show you my favorite part of this room now. Remember the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Remember that book? Check this out. It's a, like Narnia moment. Like I'm gonna just like walk in here, and then I'm gonna just like come through. I don't know, that's like kind of cool, not creepy at all. Fun fact about the room. So we're gonna finish getting ready, then we're gonna go explore the city. Amanda wants to eat frogs. Exciting. Um, yeah, so we'll check in a little bit. Amanda's gonna make me eat frog. I don't want frog. And now we're at the neighborhood. It tastes like chicken. I know. I had a lot of fun there. Did a cooking class. <laughs> what are we making? Yeah, chicken mum. Chicken mum. Chicken fried. I actually clipped my nails this morning because I knew we were doing this. I hope you're taking the sound out of this. Let's see, push. So after living it up in Da Nang and then relaxing in Hoi An, we hopped on a plane and flew to Hanoi, which is where I will be living for the next 30 days. 28 to be exact. Sandra Bullock, 28 days. Are you thirsty? So thirsty. It's my drink. What are you thinking? Just got to my apartment 
I think the fun has worn off and now it's gotten real. So I am walking over to this meet and greet. Uh, I'm gonna meet everyone that's in the program. I'm excited to meet everybody. There's like seven different nationalities. There's like 22 different people. The age range is pretty vast, it's like 27 to 60 something. So it's a really diverse group. And um, yeah, so let's see how it goes. This is where I'm actually gonna be living for the next month. Okay, so that's a lie. This is where I'm gonna be living. It's not bad, right? Good job. Yo, so I figured I would give you a tour uh, in Hanoi. So I'll give you a tour. This is our dining and living area. Fridge in the living room, because why not? Hot plate, no oven, but that's all good. Also, how cool is this? I don't know, when I cook in the morning, I'm totally gonna wear this because why not? I mean, how good do I look? Okay, and then out here, the laundry and beautiful courtyard. So that is the kitchen and the living room area, and now I'll show you the bedroom. So this is my bedroom. Got a bed, got a chair. It's actually a pretty nice little arm alarm moment happening right here. And then to the bathroom. I got this actually really nice little window. So this is where I'm living for the next month. This is where I will be. I will catch up with you guys later. See ya.